President Donald Trump's defense team will wrap up its opening arguments in the Senate impeachment trial Tuesday, beginning at 1 p.m. ET you can watch a live feed of the proceedings below once it begins. So far, the president's team has been seen as effectively countering the House impeachment manager's case. On day one of the defense's presentation, the team launched into its six key facts about the Democrats' impeachment case that, they say, absolve Trump of wrongdoing. The team also accused lead House impeachment manager Rep. Adam Schiff D. Califf, of concealing this potentially exculpatory testimony of a major witness. The team's defense was seen by at least one senator as a kneecapping of Schiff. The Hill reported that, following Saturday's presentation, at least two Democrats have indicated that they could vote for Trump's acquittal. The defense continued its statement Monday, with one of the most notable portions being Trump team member and former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi's takedown of Hunter Biden's alleged shady business dealings in Ukraine. As The Blaze noted, when the House managers gave you their presentation, when they submitted their brief, they repeatedly referenced Hunter Biden and Burisma, Bondi began, adding that, they referenced Biden or Burisma over 400 times, during opening arguments and when they gave these presentations, they said there was nothing, nothing to see, Bondi went on to say that Democrats' case crumbles because they have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that there is no basis to raise this concern, but that's not what public records show, in addition to giving a detailed timeline of Hunter Biden's involvement with Burisma during his father's time in office, as well as the political events in Ukraine at the time, Bondi pointed out how even witnesses called by House Democrats during the impeachment investigation saw potential problems with the matter. In fact, every witness who was asked about Hunter Biden's involvement with Burisma agreed there was a potential appearance of a conflict of interest. Bondi said, Multiple House Democrat witnesses, including those from the Department of State, the National Security Council, and other unanimously testified there was a potential appearance of a conflict of interest. These were their witnesses. Even more newsworthy than the defense's presentation has been the ongoing debate over the calling of witnesses. Later this week, after the defense wraps up its opening statements and the Senate uses its 16 hours of questions for both sides, senators will likely vote on whether to subpoena further evidence and or call witnesses. On Sunday, portions of former National Security Advisor John Bolton's book manuscript leaked to the media. In it, Bolton claims that the president wanted to continue freezing aid to Ukraine until the Ukrainian government investigated the family of former vice president and 2020 Democratic presidential contender Joe Biden. Now senators on both sides of the aisle are discussing the increasing likelihood that Bolton and other witnesses could be called. Sen. Mitt Romney, R. Utah, said Monday that Bolton's book makes it increasingly likely that GOP senators will actually vote in favor of calling witnesses. Other Republican senators have, of course, dismissed Bolton's revelations. And GOP Rep. Mark Meadows, N.C., warned Republican senators that there would be political repercussions if they voted to call witnesses. Reports Tuesday revealed that Sen. Pat Toomey, our PA, is working on a compromise that would offer a Democrats it one-for-one one deal that would allow each side to call just one new witness, with the idea that Democrats would call Bolton and Republicans would likely call either Hunter or Joe Biden. Minority leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, killed rumors of a similar possible witness swap last week, before the Bolton revelations came out, www.youtube.com Let's Block Ads. Why?